I've been trying to make this content for quite some time now. You may remember that I released this video about the limited edition James Bond uh, Seamasters or uh, watches from Omega. And you did point out that I missed a couple of models here and there. So I'm trying to find a way to present to you that video in a fascinating and entertaining way. But during my research, I uncovered this super rare limited edition Seamaster that no one was talking about. In fact, this $700,000 Seamaster was so interesting and so fascinating that everybody thought it was a hoax. For the seventh billion time in the short lifespan of the show, we are going to let you all know that Omega loves their limited edition collections. Looking at just the Speedmaster, buyers can start at the bottom of Omega's luxurious offerings, the regular version. As they build their cachet, they can step up to the limited edition pieces and could ultimately graduate to the most exclusive of collections such as the 22-piece six-figure priced missions set. This type of multi-level approach to exclusivity has proven to be both lucrative and supremely appealing to wealthier collectors. While the NASA space program casts a wider net to capture the most audience, Omega is more than willing to narrow down their demographic to produce pieces for the even more privileged few. We can see this with the Seamaster collection that has produced countless special editions throughout the years. Within these editions, the subcategory is produced as its own range of limited editions. The Olympic editions would come to mind in this regard and of course the 007 series. Within the series, a more limited, extremely hard to get few pieces will be released. They could be hard to get due to limited production or by simply being multiple times more expensive than the typical limited edition. It's fascinating already to see such a production structure to be successful. But then, I stumble upon this unicorn Seamaster. This is the Neiman Marcus Fantasy Gift Set Seamaster. This model is made of a platinum case and bracelet combo and is fitted with a pleasingly textured raised numeral bezel. The dial is also made of 950 platinum, clearly setting this apart from the rest of the limited edition James Bond models. From the back, you can see the similar kind of display case back as that of the 50th anniversary version showcasing the more luxurious version of the caliber 8806, the caliber 8807. Other details feature the case serial plate on the side, platinum lace leather strap, and more goodies inside a commemorative suitcase. And finally, it comes with it a free, one of one scale, actually functional limited edition Aston Martin Super Ligera, co designed by Daniel Craig himself. All that for the price of $700,007. I see what you did there, Neiman Marcus. While many would argue that the Seamaster is the freebie in this set, we watch folks know better and we will not be fooled. This is the exact same Super Legera that was released by Aston Martin months before. You don't have to be a car nut to know that. The good folks at Bond Lifestyle pointed this out in their article. On the top, we could see the marketing image of the OHSS Super Legera. Below is what Neiman Marcus released. We can totally see the photoshopping skills of one employee in Neiman Marcus offices. This now begs the question, is this gift set even real in the first place or is it an elaborately photoshopped hoax? Well, let's try and do some accounting work with the $700,000 price tag first. The limited edition DBS will set you back $380,000 based on the retail price months before this gift set. A full platinum case and bracelet Seamaster retails at $66,000, but assuming this is a Diver 300M model and is limited edition, it can also easily touch the $90,000 plateau. There are other perks such as flying to the premiere for the movie and that 12% of the proceeds of each set will be donated to charity. We would be looking at a possible $575,000 cost for Neiman Marcus to produce one of these gift sets. That's a potential of over $125,000 of profit for each of the parties involved for one set of this fantasy gift. It can be a bit more money actually if we consider all of the prices at cost value. 
That may seem an absurd amount of money, but seeing how these luxury brands work, this is actually not that strange. So is Neiman Marcus trolling us with this gift set, or is it actually a real thing? A watch nerd is here to save the day. Thanks to RJ Brower of Fratello, we have the only known live image of this elusive platinum Neiman Marcus James Bond Seamaster. It is real, folks. That is one of only seven in the world. There may have been other more expensive Seamasters in the past, but this certainly is one of the most extraordinary. While we certainly could complain that many limited editions are, well, not really limited at all, Omega is showing us that we can have those kinds of not so limited editions, but at the same time, they can also make one that's as elusive as the British Pi himself. This is really one of the rarest unicorns that Omega has ever produced. It's so rare, in fact, that I've seen no videos of it except for that clip from Neiman Marcus. This really is specially made for that seven diehard fans of James Bond in the world. Clearly, Omega, Neiman Marcus, and Daniel Craig know what they're doing because this is a blueprint for outrageous exclusivity.